In this video, we keep heading south along the coastline, visiting Barn Hill Station, 80 Mile Beach and Cape Crawdron. So we're at Barn Hill, we've just come for a uh, walk along the beach, this is our first full day here, it's sort of uh, afternoon now but it's been uh, quite windy, a bit cloudy, it's our, our sort of the cloudiest day we've had in a long time actually but, um, but yeah so Barn Hill sort of back up there where the red meets the sea and then we're just having a little bit of a bit of a walk down the beach and yeah it's quite quite nice actually so hopefully we'll get get the drone up the wind sort of backed off a fraction for us so because uh, there's some really sort of cool um, sort of just the cliff faces and whatnot in it it's pretty nice so um, yeah we'll go from there Here at 80 Mile Beach Caravan Park. Um, really nice caravan park, grassy sites. Um, there's a lot of wind today, um, a westerly, but the caravan park is behind these dunes, um, so you're a little bit protected. Um, and we've also faced the van away from that wind, so it's kind of blocking for us, but getting lots of wind into the van. So keeping nice and cool in this uh, maybe 36 degree heat makes it feel a lot cooler so we're just going to chillax here for a couple of days and see what it's got to offer. We've just arrived at our next camp, uh, Cape Coydron, so it's looking absolutely mint behind us and we've, we've dragged a, a really nice spot as well. Um, but yeah, a little bit blowy, got told there's midges, uh, flies are, are off tap as well, but uh, the wind's starting to pick up, so they're, uh, they're going now, which is good, but um, hey, we've got an awesome view, hopefully we'll get some fishing done off the rocks here. And um, this is home for two nights. And this is what we get to look at for the two days. Tide's coming in. 80 mile is up that way. It actually ends here. Well, actually ends here, yeah. And yeah, so looking, looking really good.
So I'm on the move pretty bloody quick coming down because straight off the point here where we're staying this big croc has come out of the ocean just I sort of came down here to have a uh, a look oh he's gone under um, I'll sit here for a little bit and wait for him but I'll come down here to go for a little fish and I was just checking it out we went back up top and um, yeah and then I went well that's a bloody big stick down there got the had a look and yeah maybe he's a decent size too so we'll just sit here and wait and if I can get him I'll uh, we'll capture it eh alright it's just a waiting game now so he's only just sitting just out here before I'll tell you what you're sitting here admiring your view, you're looking out here, the white sands of 80 mile, stretching all the way back there. And then this bloody decent sized fella just pulls up in front of you, know. Eh? And I was actually thinking about going for a probably swim. I got told to swim a low tide, there's a bit of a fishbowl here to the left, but I don't know, I might have second thoughts about that now. Anyway, we'll just sit here and wait for him. We'll see what happens. All these hollowed out. Dried up salt in them. Andrew said that he tasted it. I'm not gonna taste it. Oh, big turtle. Wonder if you can see the big turtle. Wow, see him? That's a wrap from Cape Croydon. It's been very nice, very peaceful. Mm. Um, we've been lucky enough to have um, the, uh, little houses for the birds and a little, little water this little year. Little zebra finches came yeah. all day long. Yep, yeah, so been, uh, the water dish has been uh, 
um, serving for seagulls, the finches, we've even had uh, wallaby in wallaby. here, uh, goanna, we're quite sure through the night. We're watering the entire population. Yeah, um, but yeah no, it's been really cool to, to see as well, but and then just to have this, this view, um, have this view out here, it's been really nice Oh yeah, well. we've seen whales, dolphins, turtles, crocodiles, crocodile. Or crocodile. Yeah, um, a few fish out there, but came up empty handed once again. You decided to leave them in the ocean, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. The flies. The flies are off tap. Um, like, on you ridges. all of the time. Yeah. They're just here all the time. Uh, that is probably the only downer. Now, we're lucky that we're on the cliff face uh, where it has been a bit more windy. So, it's sort of probably keeping them to the minimum. But it was bloody hot here yesterday as oh, well. Oh, so. 38 degrees. Yeah, um, but the breeze kicked in by about 2 o'clock and it was quite lovely. So, mm. so yeah. But anyway, that's it. Moving on. Moving on to Port Hedland. In the next video, we head inland to Australia's hottest town during a heatwave. <laughs>